Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm going to be transforming this uninspiring patio into something so beautiful. We enjoy spending time out here, love the view of the woods, and hearing the sounds of nature is so relaxing. We moved into this house about six months ago, and this is our first time having a patio space, so we didn't have enough seating, just a garden bench that was in our front yard at our old house, and a small dining set someone gave to us. I tried to make it work with these items, but I was very unsatisfied plus we still need more seating so i did order some pieces online and they will be arriving soon i'm gonna share this transformation with you guys and i hope you enjoy watching all right guys so i have part of my patio set in i'm gonna start putting it together these are the two accent chairs and then i have to wait for the um the sofa the three seater to arrive because I ordered them at separate times. I don't know if I'm gonna have to get a bigger rug because this is a five by seven. And um, the sofa is a three seater, so it might, it just might be the length of the rug. And that's not a good thing. I do want the rug to come out past the sofa. So we'll see. I'm going to wait for the sofa to arrive, put it together, and see if I'm going to have to get a bigger rug, maybe like a six by nine. And then I need to do something with this coffee table because it's old and there's like a lot of glue and the... um contact paper that I put on here is starting to peel off and it just looks bad. I do have a nicer contact paper that's marble. It has like that gloss look. So um, yeah, I need to actually find that, see if I have it in my storage unit or I will have to just buy a new roll from Amazon. But this one definitely needs to be switched out. <laughs> Now, as you can see, this contact paper has a gloss finish. It looks so much better and it's going to be more durable than the last contact paper I was using. So the sofa is in, guys, and my husband is going to help me put it together. It's not heavy. I do feel like you can manage by yourself, but I'm just trying to speed up the process. So my husband came out to help me assemble it. I'm going to finish up with the coffee table today. I wasn't able to finish yesterday, so I'm going to finish that up. I am waiting for one more item to come in the mail, which is an area rug. I did have to order a bigger size, so when that arrives, which should be sometime tomorrow, I will be able to finish off the space. I'm really excited.
I am done with the patio and I am loving it. It's so beautiful. Definitely a transformation. I am so happy I decided to go ahead and get a patio set and just really decorate it to my liking and not just settle for the pieces I had. But I cannot wait to come out here and just enjoy this space with my family. I am loving it. So I'm going to take you guys around and tell you where everything is from. So I'm going to start off with the seating. I got this from Big Lots and I love it. I did not want to get wicker because I really wanted my patio to look more modern and not too traditional not saying that you cannot make a modern or a contemporary looking space using wicker pieces but I just didn't want it I wanted something that was more sleek and when I saw this one I had to have it I love the geometric um, design on it and the two chairs they come as a set so a set of two and then you can order the three seater separately and the outdoor pillows are from Big Lots as well I was able to find a lot of stuff for my patio at Big Lots I actually need to shop there more often because they do sell cute home decor I've been sleeping on big lots but not anymore this planter is from big lots as well and I mean not the planter I'm sorry but this plant stand is from big lots and the planters oh so glamorous so so beautiful these are from Ross so yeah I have that and I just put some greenery inside. I created this using succulents and um, like plants and stuff that I had on hand and I love the turnout. It's really nice. And then I have this throw and the colors work so well with like the um, rug and the pillows. It just turned out to be perfect and I found it at Ross before they closed. So loving that. And the rug, this is from Amazon. I will have all of the linkable items linked in the description box guys. Moving on to the coffee table. So this coffee table is from Amazon but I did uh, go ahead and revamp it with the marble contact paper. I will have that linked as well. And then I have these lanterns. Those are from Big Lots. And this plant, everything on top of the coffee table is from Big Lots. Oh, mine is the LED candles. And at the bottom, I just have a plant that is from a Ross and some books. And then I placed the small dining set over here. I don't know where it's from because we got this from my husband's best friend. He was moving and didn't need it anymore. I went and found these like inserts at Home Depot, I believe. You know, it just has that marble look because the ones that came with the set, they were like brown and just very ugly and some of them cracked. So I went and purchased these to put inside and the plant is from TJ Maxx, I believe. And I did spray paint this black. I used a metallic black spray paint um, because it was brown and I just didn't like it at all. Plus it doesn't look right with the rest of the pieces. I still want to paint this part because you know it's brown and I just don't like it but I need to get the right paint for it because you can't use any spray paint on this um, fabric so I need to find the right fabric paint I didn't want to hold up this video any longer trying to figure out what paint to use and what color because that's another issue I had like hmm what color should I do gray and try to like match it with the cushions but I couldn't find the right gray and I don't I don't think I want to do white and maybe I could just do black maybe I don't know but yeah when I figure it out I will update you guys the greenery is fake I do want to get real plants but I'm not really trying to go out and about and just be in these stores I'm just using stuff that I have on hand and the curtains they are from Amazon and I used tension rods up here because this is a rental so I didn't want to drill holes in the siding so I just went ahead and just um, used the tension rods to hang the curtains on and the tie backs. These are from Amazon. Really love them. They are wired so you can just bend them to your liking. And if you look closely, you will see like crystals at the tips. But I mean, it's not really a big deal. <laughs> you cannot see it from a distance. But I just think that's really cute, especially if you're like up close on it. You can see the crystals. It's just a cute touch to these tie backs. And then on this side, I just have another plant and these lanterns that I still need to paint. Don't like the way they look right now. So I do want to paint them, but I'm still trying to 
trying to decide on the colors I'm going to use but I didn't want to hold up this video any longer so I will do that later and in case you're wondering about this I have this door stopper here to keep like the lizards out because they um, get in underneath the door frame so I put this here to keep them out and it works now one thing I do want to get for this space is some wall decor I am waiting for Ross to open back up because the last time I was in the store they had like the perfect piece that I could use out here but yeah hopefully the store opens back up and it's still available sometime soon but that's it for this video guys really love this makeover better than expected like I said, I will have all of these linkable items in the description box. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That'll be so, so awesome. And I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.